Hi guys, this is the Idaho Picker and I'm going to bring you an update on the uh, Louisiana sinkhole, kind of a new development, um, and that is um, in the new update that was put out yesterday by Texas Brine, uh, they uh, said that they ran into um, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide um, when they were uh, flaring uh, vent well number two, or started flaring it yesterday, uh, they ran into hydrogen sulfide and they had to shut the well back in um, and uh, wanted to make sure you're aware of what hydrogen sulfide is and so what I've got here is a, a fact sheet on hydrogen sulfide okay it says hydrogen sulfide is a colorless flammable extremely hazardous gas with a rotten egg smell um, and uh, it says it uh, occurs naturally in uh, crude petroleum, natural gas, and hot springs. Okay, if we come on down here, it says uh, hydrogen sulfide is heavier than air, and may travel along under the ground as it collects in low-lying areas, um, low-lying and enclosed, uh, poorly ventilated areas such as basement manholes and anything that's low-lying, of course, um, including. Uh, uh, anything that uh, where it can get down lower um, it's uh, heavier than than that normal air that uh, we breathe okay um, it goes on to say various other things here it says the primary route for exposure is inhalation and the gas is rapidly absorbed by the lungs absorption through skin is minimal people can smell the rotten egg odor of hydrogen sulfide at low concentrations in the air However, with continuous low level exposure or at high concentrations, a person loses his ability to smell the gas even though it's still present. Okay. And it says, uh, basically says that uh, therefore do not rely on your sense of smell to indicate a continuing uh, presence of uh, hydrogen sulfide. Okay. Now, if we come on down a little further, it'll, uh, it uh, talks about. Uh, high concentrations can cause shock, convulsions, inability to breathe, uh, extremely rapid unconsciousness, coma, and death uh, at uh, higher higher levels. And what would be considered a high level is a uh, a level above 100 ppm uh, parts per million, basically. Okay, and uh, it is uh, at that level is it is deadly. I'm not sure of the level that uh, that they've ran into down there the pressure and the amount but uh, I'm assuming that if they drilled that well and it is down just uh, close to the aquifer area we're not talking very far down in the water we're talking 50 feet 100 feet that kind of thing that this gas exists so likely the case is is that uh, this same gas is part of the gas that's coming up through the ground and in the bayous down in Louisiana this uh, particularly deadly form of of gas hydrogen sulfide so unfortunately methane is deadly as well but is at a higher concentration and will explode at a higher concentration this is deadly at a lower concentration and uh, will explode at a lower concentration as well now I'm going to go ahead and take you and show you some uh, new photos that you have not seen of the uh, Louisiana sinkhole. Then take you into showing you an update real quick on the um, earthquake activity. And then I'm going to show you uh, uh, multiple uh, sources of where you can get information and kind of ma monitor information on the uh, on uh, what they're saying about the Louisiana sinkhole. And I say what they're saying is because there are, there are many things they are not saying that are ultimately the problems we need to try to look for and figure out. But I'll get into that in a moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at some photos here. This is a particularly interesting photo that I wanted to show you. And the reason is is because of, the, of this area right here. Um, this area, as you can see, the distance between here okay, and here is not very far. Um, this uh, this perspective helps uh, show that distance and this actual perspective here is not the most recent perspective uh, so far as how big the sinkhole is this area here that I'm gonna mark fell into the sinkhole about approximately a week ago these photos were actually taken so this area that I'm outlining here approximately is now no longer 
there and now no longer has trees located at this at this spot okay um, so this uh, has expanded further and closer to this facility what's my concern ultimately is actually what sits right over here that's outside of this photo and I think I'll show you a photo here in a moment where you can see it but that's the uh, butane uh, con uh, salt dome container that butane salt dome container has a border that actually comes along over in here that uh, where it's actually under the ground on top all you see is a a vent uh, a wellhead and uh, the actual container is much larger under the ground um, and of course this area over here has a huge uh, container as well which is the the uh, container that actually um, that actually uh, has created this sinkhole over here okay now let's go ahead and uh, let me erase that uh, information real quick. Hang on just a second, guys, so it doesn't follow me into the next uh, into my next uh, image here. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. I know how we are when we are on YouTube. We want all information, and because I'm the same way, uh, all information and no uh, no delays. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the next photo, um, if it'll let me do it. Okay, I'm not wanting this right now. Thank you. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this next photo here. There's a couple more I want to show you. Nice close-up photo of uh, of the hydrocarbons in the water behind that facility. Facility there. Those are brine containers where they uh, house brine so they can use it when they pump it into the wells. Another nice photo as well as you can see particularly the areas you'd want to look at is down through here showing how the water has expanded back and up in here also showing how the how the water and hydrocarbons running out of this sinkhole area I have went way down the roads and way back into here and of course here and also off the screen over here let's go and take a look at another photo these are photos you all guys have not seen at this point but I thought I'd show them to you. That's one of the vent wells they were drilling. Another uh, another nice photo. Now, if you look right over here, let me get my draw drawing me mechanism back out. And uh, if you look right, let me get me a better color. If you look right over here, see this? See what I'm pointing at right here? that is the butane container that contains in excess of a million gallons of butane that's in the ground right there it is only this big on top but in fact the container underneath is hundreds of feet wide um, and these containers because you have a you have the con the uh, the well here that goes down into oxy number three which can that, that the sinkhole formed into when the cavern failed the salt dome cavern and then over here you have another cavern that is that is down in the ground below okay that cavern however is is hundreds of feet around and would take up an area approximately like this in this image okay under the ground and then you have this cavern over here that takes up an area like this under the ground likely a little bit more round uh, however it is not perfectly round it is not a steel container of any type it is a a uh, hollowed out area in the salt dome that exists uh, below this uh, area here in this cavern here there is um, in excess of a million barrels of butane this cavern I am sure because of the way it failed is caused damage into this cavern over here cracks into it and in fact the cavern has been showing uh, clear signs of degradation when you look at the um, the images uh, from the heliographs that uh, have been recording the data um, in those uh, caverns. Now, if we go and take a look at the uh, at the current data, we can look through the last day or so, and we can see that that there is still, in fact, substantial activity at uh, the uh, sinkhole underground. The activity ramping up uh, from sunrise 
and uh, these are different uh, monitors that are there there are uh, about six monitors at the site and you can see substantial activity and missing data from this location you can see on this chart there was major movement on this day this was when I say this day I'm referring to this morning um, where we have substantial data these uh, these seismic activities that you see through here this is not normal this is a failing of the salt dome that is taking place under this uh, under this area here's another chart this is LAO 8 this is the most uh, telling chart in general when you watch it over the days and showing that the cavern that has the butane in it is in fact degrading and failing as well they will be reporting in the near future that there is butane now in the air and uh, it is going to be coming from likely this cabin or this cavern that this uh, heliograph earthquake monitor monitors okay now I'm going to go ahead and show you a few other uh, pages where you can go and get information from um, this is a page that is put out by PB Energy okay and uh, it is talking let me see if I can uh, bring it down in size so you can see a little more at once okay here you go there you are phone numbers and all uh, talking about the Bayou Corn Action Plan and it goes through various things I'm not going to read all of it okay but uh, if you look down um, there is various pieces of information that you can that you'll notice okay and uh, I'm going to go through several of these with you where you can get this information from and it comes out on a daily basis I'll put the links down below for you here is another one um, with information about the sinkhole from these various companies that are uh, that are monitoring and, and dealing with this sinkhole okay here you are this is KDX Promix okay now the, one of the most interesting pieces on this one is that you'll notice that it says plans are to continue injection and withdrawal of products from the three active wells um, the it says the two the the two inactive wells will remain out of service and full of brine when they're talking about wells they're talking about these caverns okay they're continuing the use of these caverns and continuing to continuing to inject more product and also withdrawal of product from these from these uh, caverns that are there so business as usual at the uh, Bayou Corn uh, Napoleon Salt Dome okay this is Dow Chemical this is their their uh, update uh, site where they give updates on what's going on with the uh, well, Napoleon Salt Dome, the caverns, and the sinkhole. Um, you can come here and you can see um, exactly the information that they are providing as well. Keep it in mind that uh, there is information that it, they are not providing and uh, that is actually going to be ultimately more interesting than what they are providing. Here is um, this is uh, Crosstech. You've heard them mention those guys before, Crosstech Process and Services. And they talk about uh, the various wells and so on. Now, there, here are a couple of wells that they're referring to as well uh, that talking about butane being in these wells, okay? Um, and it's been proven in many previous videos that there is an enormous amount of butane and other gases, including propane, at this uh, at these well locations here is Chevron and their update website okay where you can see now it's talking about something interesting here is is this they're talking about uh, NS the NS1 cavern which I'm not positive what which one they're referring to it says we're main block to maintain cavern integrity and stability and continue water injection into the NS1 cavern. The interesting thing is that they, these are salt domes and that without knowing any additional information of what they're saying here 
um, but it would sound strange to be injecting water, just simply water and not, and not brine.